how did I go from a life that was so unfulfilling for me, that just didn't work for me, to a life I could be wholly passionate about? And the answer is, I found my confidence. So today's video is going to be all about what I perceive confidence to be, how I found my confidence, what I felt like when I wasn't confident, and how it is possible for anybody to find that confidence, and ultimately, how you can find that confidence in yourself. So before I go into that, um, if you really like this video, which I really hope you do, because um, as always, um, I'm looking to give value to you, uh, give you things to think about, um, so I hope it all resonates. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, which will notify you when I am posting my videos, which is every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So when I was a little girl, I was extremely shy, really shy, unless I was around a particular group of people. You know, I wouldn't pick up the telephone if it was ringing. Um, I was just too, I was scared. I was fearful. I actually even remember one of my earliest memories of being a little girl. I remember um, we used to live on uh, Norfolk Road, for any of you who are watching this from Reading, opposite where the original Elm Park uh, football stadium used to be. And um, I remember sitting on the bottom of my st the steps. I should have been in bed. Um, and I was sat on the bottom of the steps and just looking through the crack of the door, watching um, the rest of my family, um, watching TV. I was the youngest at the time, so I was supposed to be in bed. And <laughs> I remember um, calling out for my mum, but I had no voice. I remember that I had no voice, absolutely no voice. I couldn't speak. And um, I have actually had a dream like that not that long ago, but I, I, I couldn't speak. I literally had no voice, but I was calling out for her. Um, and I didn't know that then, but what I learned was that it was through a lack of confidence, a lack of self-esteem and self-worth. And I was like tiny little top. Um, and I had, I had that come up, that, that happened to me again. It might have been about a year or two years ago. And I was screaming for help. It was in a dream and I was, um, or that, that actually wasn't a dream, that was a reality, but this was actually in a dream. And I was on a balcony and someone was trying to push me off the balcony and I was screaming for help, but I had no voice. I had absolutely no voice. So, you know, um, and that's when I kind of was asking all the, all the questions, like, what does that mean when you've got no voice in a dream? And it is lack of confidence, lack of self-worth, value, um, self-esteem, you name it, it was it. So I knew that there was a similar kind of pattern and, and a relation between that little girl and me like a year or so ago. So yeah, so I had no confidence as a little girl. I was really, really shy. But when I was around the right people, I'd be like, da -da. I'd be like walking to them and I would do like dressing up and I'd be felt, felt like I would be on stage like an actress, you know. Um, but I think what had happened to me as a little girl, because I was generally this bubbly, loud character, I was kind of battered down, told to be the opposite. So I didn't know who I was. And I think this is kind of all where it, 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 it does, all where, it's all where it stems from. But yeah, so I had a lack of, a lack of confidence, even at that young age, and that carried throughout my whole entire life, through school. Um, and what that created was, um, you know, crap jobs, crap money, um, crap people in my life, um, toxic people, um, you know, uh, being bullied, um, just, you know, toxic relationships, all of this, just because I, ha I had a lack of confidence. I had a lack of confidence and self-worth. And I've touched on that in some of my other videos. Um, so how do you go from that, from attracting that in your life, you know, such unkindness it, it was like I would call it the life of lack chapter one Natalie's life of lack and this is chapter two um and yeah that that the lack was just it was incredible it was in every area of my life and um 
yeah, so how did I go from that to where I am today? So before I go into that, I'm going to explain to you what I think or what I perceive confidence to be. So for me, and because of how I now feel about myself, confidence for me means that I'm enough. So if somebody asks me what confidence means, it's that you're enough, that you just feel enough, that you don't need the material things, you don't need people, you don't need the loving relationships to make you whole because you're whole. You are enough just exactly as you are. Now, I don't mean that you're, if, you're, if you have all these things that you're unconfident, not at all. I just mean there's no attachment to having or needing. It's a need, a desperate kind of, you know, um, unhealthy need to have this. Um, so, yeah, so confidence to me means that you're enough and that you have learned to love and accept yourself unconditionally, with or without material objects, with or without a loving relationship, and with or without people in your life, that you are enough and that you can show up as enough. And this literally transformed my life. And it hasn't been that long since I've realized this. And in fact, every day, more and more every day, I'm waking up stronger, more courageous, more determined, more focused. Um, you know, I look at myself in the mirror every day now and love myself more. Um, I love the way that I look more than I've ever done in my entire life because I see me now. I see my face. I see my lovely figure. I see it. And I never did because I was battered uh, not to see it through so many people, which they thought it was OK to do that. And it just isn't. So, um but yeah, when you don't have the confidence, you do attract a lot of kind of unworthiness in, in your life. Um, so yeah, so by feeling good enough, that you're enough without anything else, you are enough, um, that you love and accept yourself unconditionally, that's your confidence. That it doesn't matter what shows up, it doesn't matter what obstacle you've got to face, you know that you can face it you know that whatever it is that you need to do, you will then feel the fear and do it anyway, because you've got that confidence that, you know, I'm okay as I am, whatever the outcome is going to be, it's going to be. And it's, I mean, it's as simple as that. You, you, you lose that anxiety. You, you, you lose the, the fear. You lose that um, concern because you know fundamentally that you're enough and you're always going to be okay. You're always going to be enough. Um, so yeah, everything just started to change around. Um, you know, and that is how um, I transformed my life to a life of passion, really. I'm passionate about, um, you know, having a career that I want, you know, doing this, being able to show up on these videos confidently, authentically. Um, and don't get me wrong, when I started doing the videos, I was pretty crap in myself, to be honest. But, you know, the more you do things, the more you do things, the more you do things, the easier they come and, you know, the less, uh, the less, uh, fearful they are um you know um you know and the money that um kind of seems to fly into my direction because i changed my thought process because i i know my worth and i'm worth financial abundance i'm worth that loving relationship i am worth a career that um i'm passionate about and you know giving back and helping people i i am worth you know the beautiful travel i am worth um the beautiful home i am worth having loving kind supportive highlight that supportive people in my life i i am worthy of people complimenting me you know i am I, you know all all of this and the language that i use about myself my god before it was incredibly awful it was it was awful how i would what i would think about myself and the reason why i had this awful language about myself was because i didn't understand the difference between one of the conscious and the subconscious uh, mind and I didn't understand that I had a choice of whether I listened to it now some people call that the ego um, you can just call it a negative mindset but I would have this negative mindset like pinging in my ear 24 7 so when I was working on when I really started working on kind of changing that um, which was about October November last year I really strived to change that it was really hard work 
you know, for every positive thought, the negative one would rise. Um, so then I'd have to keep going with the positive and the negative and then the positive and the positive thought and the positive thought. Um, and eventually that negative voice quieting down. So I was able through all this, work, you know, through doing this, um, I was able to change my language. So when I had my conf had finally found my confidence, um, I was able to change how I spoke about myself. But I wasn't just able to change it when I had my confidence. It was a um, a combination of working on changing my negative mindset, which built a part that, that was a part of building my confidence as well. So, so all in all, um, I was able to transform my life, and, and it's going to continue to transform. You know, it's going to continue to change. Um, you know, those of you in the corporate world that continually talk about, I get sick of hearing it, <laughs> you know, the future of work, you know, the future of work, the future of work. It's like, you know, it's the future of work is never comes because it's the future. And your transformation is always going to be basically a transformation for a better future. So you're always going to be evolving. The future of work is always going to be evolving. You are always going to be evolving, always going to be evolving. But now, because I have the confidence and I have the courage and the determination and the love, and I know that I'm good enough and I'm worthy enough for abundance, you know, it's going to be evolving in the right direction. There's not going to be any more of these um, horrendous roller coasters that I used to experience. That doesn't mean there's not going to be obstacles. But I have the confidence to face it and not to wallow, uh, wallow in it. You know, I've got the resourcefulness now to keep kind of moving ahead. Um, and how, how did I do all of this? How did I do all of this? How did I change everything? I did the work. I did the work diligently, persistently, consistently. Um, and this is proof that when you do the work, your life can literally transform. You transform from the inside out and your life transforms. So if, in fact, ask yourself this question. If you look at your life now and you see that there's lack in particular different areas of your life, it's because of how you feel about yourself that these things are showing up. So if you don't have enough money, if you have a crap job, if you have a crap relationship, if you've got shitty friends in your life, whatever it is, it's to do with you and how you feel about you. So if you want to transform your life, if you want to have that life, if you want to know what this feels like, which is incredible, I wish I could um, like push it through the YouTube screen so you could kind of get a whack in the chest to feel that, because um, it's incredible. If you want to transform your life and you don't know how, if you want to, you know, have this feeling, if you want to be able to walk down the road feeling just enough, enough, and you don't know where to get there, you don't know how to get there, even though you know the answer is doing the work, but you don't really understand what that is, then get in touch because I would be honoured, absolutely honoured to be your teacher or your guide. I really would. Because through all of my authentic experiences, because of the, the work that I've done on myself, I have created an amazing program that can literally get you in, get you done, get you out, boom, in as less pain and heartache and hurt as possible. And it's absolutely possible to have that. Now, I didn't have a formula before, so I was kind of winging it with, you know, I'd have coaching sessions and then I'd have psychology sessions and then I was, you know, doing my own work and then I would find different coaches, um, you know, uh, to kind of give me more information. I was literally like wanting more and more and more information so I could learn. So it took me quite a while to get there. But now I know, because I've bundled everything together into these programs, um, yeah. It's, it's definitely, definitely worth, worth doing. Because if, like I said, if you're looking at your life and it's not exactly how you want it to be and you don't know why things are showing up as they are, you don't know why it is the way, way it is and you don't know how to change it, even though I've said, you know, it is doing the work, what does that actually mean? So if you want that nudge in the right direction, like I said, I would be really, really happy to be somebody that could guide you and to teach you 
so you can have this feeling. And this is ultimately why I created As The Pennies Drop. So if you haven't seen my other videos, I would suggest you check them out because I show up in all of them authentically. And if I can just help one person, I've done my job because I do not want people to go through what I went through or for the length of time it took me to get to where I am today. Absolutely no. My, um, it's, you know, this, my whole kind of ethos is, you know, giving back, just giving back, giving back, giving back to people so they can have better lives. So yeah. So if you're looking to show up confidently, if you want to change your life, if you're looking at your life now thinking, Christ, yeah, that's not what I want at all, but I don't know what to do about it, then please get in touch. All my contact details are down below. And as always, I really hope that this has helped. Um, and um, please comment. I'll be happy to have a conversation with you on here. Or yeah, get in touch if you are looking for somebody to, you know, give you a bit of a nudge in the right direction. I'll be really, yeah, really, really pleased to uh, support you. So take care, have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.